This lesson is really just a setup for the next lesson, which is all about solving algebraic equations. Uh, so we're just going to be doing review of simplifying and solving from what we've learned so far to build the foundation before we get into our next lesson. So let's do some practice with expanding and simplifying. We've seen all this before, but we're just reviewing. When you have brackets, to expand the brackets, you multiply each term inside the brackets by the number in front of the brackets. So 5a is multiplied by 3, and minus 7 is multiplied by 3. We do the same thing over here. 2a is multiplied by positive 2, minus 5, is multiplied by positive 2. And now, if we have like terms, we have to combine them. So 15a plus 4a is 19a, minus 21, minus 10. Think of your thermometer. You're starting negative, and you're getting more negative. We're down to minus 31. So this expression simplifies to 19a minus 31. These are not like terms, because this has an a, this does not, so we cannot combine them. This is as simplified as our expression can get. Now our next expression involves brackets again. Here we have brackets, but we don't see anything in front. If you don't see anything in front, that just means there's a 1 there. So everything inside the brackets is multiplied by 1, which means it doesn't change. Over here we have brackets, and we don't really see a number right here, but what do we see? We see a minus sign. So it's kind of like there's a minus 1 in front. In fact, that is exactly what is going on here. So each term inside these brackets gets multiplied by minus 1. And again, when we have like terms, we need to combine them to simplify. So here, 2a minus 3a, well, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we have minus 1a, or you can just write it as minus a. Minus 1 minus 9, again, we're starting negative, we're getting more negative, down to minus 10. So we have negative a minus 10 as our simplified expression. Try these ones on your own. Pause the video and then check in when you get your answers. Here are my answers. 2a is multiplied by 3a to get 6a squared. Minus 4 is multiplied by 3a to get minus 12a. 2a is multiplied by negative a to get negative 2a squared. Remember your exponent rules. A number times itself, that's an exponent of 2. Positive 3 times negative a is negative 3a. I have like terms and I combine them to get my final answer. In here, a squared is multiplied by 2 to get 2a squared. Positive 3a is multiplied by 2 to get positive 6a. Positive 1 times 2 is positive 2. This plus 5a, it's not being multiplied by anything. It's just a term on its own, so I'm just going to keep it as a term on its own. 3a is in brackets, multiplied by negative 2a in front. Don't forget the negative sign. A lot of people forget that. So it's negative 6a squared. And then we do this, negative 8 times negative 2a. Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. So this is positive 16a. We have like terms, so we combine them to get our final answer. So we looked at simplifying. Now we're going to look at solving. So we're going to solve these equations. So remember, when it says solve, we're trying to find the actual value of our variable. So we're going to figure out what is the value of a. In order to solve, remember you have to isolate your variable by moving terms to the opposite side. When you cross a number to the opposite side of the equal sign, you have to do the opposite operation. And another thing to remember is the coefficient on your variable, the number that's attached to your variable, is the last one you deal with. 
all the other terms get moved first. So in this equation, I'm going to get rid of this plus one first. So I gotta do the opposite. Opposite of adding one is subtracting one. So I'm gonna subtract one from both sides. So now I have 3a equals three. So 3a, I need to get rid of that three. So what's the opposite? Well, divide by three. So I'm gonna divide both sides by three. I end up with a equals three divided by three or a equals one. That's my answer. For this next equation, I have my variable a again that I'm solving for, but I have it in two different spots. So if you recall from spiral one, we needed to collect our like terms. So I've identified my like terms. I have 3a and 6a are like terms. Plus one and minus 11 are also like terms. I need to get my like terms on the same side. So I'm going to move all of my a terms to the right hand side and I'm going to move all my other terms to the left hand side. And remember when you cross the equal sign you have to do the opposite operation. Going to the opposite side you do the opposite operation. So here I have plus 3a. I'm adding 3a on the left so when I cross to the opposite side I do the opposite operation minus 3a. Here I have minus 11 on the right, it's now plus 11 on the left. The plus 1 is on the left, I'm keeping it on the left so it stays the same. The 6a is on the right, I'm keeping it on the right so it stays the same. You only ever have to do the opposite when you're crossing the equal sign. Some people run into trouble here, they just start to change the signs for everything and that's not correct. Now that we've collected our like terms, we're going to simplify them. So combine them. Plus 11 plus 1. Well, that's 12. 6a minus 3a. Well, that's 3a. So I have 12 equals 3a. Now to isolate a, now I have to eliminate this 3 from the right-hand side. So I have to do the opposite operation. Right now, it's a is being multiplied by 3. So the opposite would be dividing by 3. So I'm going to do that to both sides. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so I end up with 4 equals a. That's my answer. Now I want to take the opportunity to show you again how you can check your answer. And you can know for sure if you got the right answer when you're solving an equation. So I'm saying a is 4. You can check to make sure that's right by plugging it into your equation for a. And we're going to check to see if the left side equals the right side. So the left side of the equation refers to the left side of the equal sign. It's 3a plus 1. If a is 4, I substitute 4 for a. So it's 3 times 4 plus 1. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So the left side equals 13. The right side is 6a minus 11. Well, if a is 4, then it's 6 times 4 minus 11. Well, 6 times 4 is 24 minus 11. Well, that's 13. So the left side equals 13. The right side equals 13. The left side equals the right side, which means we got the right answer. And this method works for any equation that you're solving. Substitute your answer into the equation and see if the left side equals the right side. If you find that you get the left side not equal to the right side, then it means you did not get the right answer. When you have an equation that you're supposed to solve and there's brackets in it, you have to get rid of the brackets first. So in order to eliminate the brackets, we need to expand. So 3 times 2a and 3 times 1. We do the expanding first. Now we don't have any brackets. Now we can collect our like terms, simplify, and solve. And for this one, well, we've got brackets. So we need to expand to eliminate the brackets. 
collect our like terms, simplify, and solve. Now you can leave your answers as fractions, that's perfectly fine. In fact, it's probably better for you to practice getting your answers in fractions for later on in high school. When you get a word problem, um, you'll have a better idea of whether or not it makes sense to leave this as, say, 73 over 2. Um, if you're talking about measurements in meters, this is probably not helpful. You would probably turn that into a decimal. So this very last example combines pretty much everything we've been talking about for this lesson. I'd like you to pause the video and try this. See what you get. You can even do a check, see if the left side equals the right side. And then, once you've done all that, come back to the video and you can check my solution. So first I expanded the brackets. 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 2 is 10. The minus 4x is not being multiplied by anything, so it stays the same. The 7 is not being multiplied by anything, so it stays the same. I have a minus 1 in front of my brackets, so 2x is multiplied by minus 1 to be minus 2x. Minus 6 is multiplied by minus 1, which is now positive, or plus 6. I identified my like terms, and now I collect them on the same side, remembering that if I move my term to the opposite side, I have to do the opposite operation. Same with here. The plus 10 moves to the opposite side. It becomes a minus 10. Now I just simplify. 5x minus 4x is 1x. Plus 2x is 3x. 7 plus 6 is 13. Minus 10 is 3. So 3x equals 13. Divide both sides by the coefficient. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So x equals 1. So, a lot of people have trouble with algebra, simplifying, and solving. So you've got some practice questions that you can work on. If you're getting stuck with anything, please reach out, let me know, and I'll do my best to help.